It's our favorite time of the year. I'm thrilled to have our Inspire hosts together to reminisce about the wonderful topics and fabulous guests we featured throughout season three. Our annual season in review show is coming up. Stay right there. Inspire is sponsored by Kansas Furniture Mart, using furniture to inspire conversation. And by the Blanche Bryden Foundation. The Friends of KTWU, honored to support programs and services that enrich the lives of our viewers. And the Raymond C. and Marguerite Gibson Foundation. Hello, welcome to Inspire. It's a very special one. We're honored to be here with our passionate and beautiful all-women team of Inspire hosts to revisit and remember Inspire Season 3. We are missing one of our co-hosts, though, Amber. We wish you could be here with us, but as we all know, we're very busy women, and it's hard to get all of us together. So we have a lot to cover. Let's get the party started. And, of course, that has to start with Danielle. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> Uh, we're going to talk about the most impactful shows, and I think that I will start out. Yes, let's do. Talking about infant mortality, uh, just some of the information that was gained on that show. Right. And the information that was also shared about food deserts and some of the things that I think 95% of infant mortalities could actually be prevented. Mm -hmm. uh, just, that was terrifying. It, that that it, statistic it really, just, to, yeah, it really it just, is terrifying. It was terrifying. So that's one of the things mm -hmm. that really just made me think about what is it that we could do to be proactive in trying to stop that from being a phenomenon, especially with uh, people of color and African Americans yeah. in our community. Right. It's that inexcusable. It's, it's absolutely definitely. inexcusable. What about you? Um, well, we've actually had quite a lot of shows this season. I don't know if you've been paying any attention. And I have noticed a theme through the show. So instead of picking a, an impactful show, I'm picking an impactful theme. We talked about food deserts. That was really interesting. Mm -hmm. We talked about um, caring for animals and mm -hmm. the importance of caring for animals. We talked about agritourism. Um, that was a really fun episode. Yeah. We talked about the impact of race on breast cancer, the impact of race on infant mortality, housing in Kansas was another issue we talked about, and actually the Underground Railroad. And if you think about it, you probably haven't, that too. there is a running theme mm -hmm. through all of those. Mm. The importance of food mm. and good nutrition yes. mm -hmm. in every single one of those uh, topics that we talked about, the critical need for access to food um, and, and nutritional food. You know, our bodies are machines, are very complicated machines, and they're not gonna run on, you know, French fries and, you know, you need to have food and fuel that your body can use. Mm -hmm. um, the food insecurity uh, was our first episode, and, he, and he, they laid it out beautifully. We had mm -hmm. some wonderful guests. They laid it out beautifully. The importance of nutrition for the impact of race on uh, breast cancer mm -hmm. and infant mortality, mm -hmm. that was news. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. That right, was right. news, and that right. was like, that was Fascinating, right. um, and yeah. So it, it, yeah. that that was just and housing. You know, do you do, you, do I pay rent or do or I do buy I food? Right. Right. But right. That we should nobody should be in right. that position, right. not in this country. And I think I going back to the infant mortality uh, show, one of the things that I thought was a really good point that Tara um, brought up was, you know, we keep doing these studies mm -hmm. and telling everybody, right. oh, it's a problem, it's a problem, it's a problem, but we don't do anything about it. Yeah. So instead of putting the money into more studies, put money into finding solutions mm -hmm. and, and providing solutions Absolutely. for these women. Absolutely. Um, so, but I would have to say my favorite show was Food Insecurity. Mm -hmm. um, to your point, yes, it did set the, the tone for the, for the season, but 
I was shocked to find out that they had been around for 35 years, like since 19... Oh, Project I think, Topeka? Yeah, Project right. Topeka. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I mean, how mm -hmm. sad is that, that mm -hmm. this is going on, you know, forever? I think someone said, you know, I think you said in the show, we're in the 21st century, and this is <laughs> right. still an issue that we can't feed our folks. And, you know, it hurts my heart when I think about, you know, these children who are going home on the weekends and right. don't have food, and the tests that they ran um, to try to make sure that you know students didn't feel uh, discriminated against right. by getting food and they felt you know bad because yeah. you know Johnny didn't get the food but you know right. Clarissa the did but yeah look how on the positive side of that mm -hmm. too of course that's positive of course feeding our children but mm -hmm. they had the children yeah. actually give the sacks mm -hmm. to the other children mm -hmm. and they had a hundred percent participation yep. started that program at Randolph mm -hmm. and then I mean there were items and if those that child didn't want it they still took at home yeah. and they gave it to somebody else Created in the family mm -hmm. or somewhere else. So I just thought that was magnificent. Yeah, it was. And then on in the insecurity, that same show, we had uh, Mrs. Arns. I love that. <laughs> oh my and, God, uh, and the too. food oasis. And yes. then, you know, just learning about how much they had done because the former Dillon store mm -hmm. over there in central Topeka mm -hmm. is now a healthcare facility. Mm -hmm. But so where were they going to go if they want to get food? They have to take their kids along. Mm -hmm. They have to haul it on the bus. Mm -hmm. You know, what can we do about it? And they're doing something. And mm -hmm. she had statistics yeah. to back it up. Oh, man, did she have statistics. She <laughs> knew her stuff. She right. knew the demographics. She knew, you know, who was in what county. She was amazing. I was so impressed with her. And, you know, it, it's also said to me, you know, you don't have to be 30 or 40 to do this. I mean, mm -hmm. she's someone who has the time and is taking the time to make a difference in her community. Right. So I, I love that. I did yeah. too. So, Betty Lou, what was your favorite episode? Well, the, you know, I'm or kind of blanking right topics. in there. What topics? Okay, yeah. now I'm going to have to talk about the animals because <laughs> oh, <laughs> like my total favorite and we had two wonderful guests mm -hmm. with that of course mm -hmm. we had Brenda Grimmett mm -hmm. you know BNC Equine uh, yes. Rescue and yes. also the Helping Hands Humane Society mm -hmm. and I loved Margaret Price I yeah. love Margaret Price I have for 28 years mm -hmm. yeah. and that's how long she's been there I think I've loved her yeah. longer than that yeah. but anyway you know and but but most of the caretakers at all of the facilities that we spoke about mm -hmm. the zoo mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the humane shelter you know, the equine, equine rescue, these are all cared for by women. Women are mm. the people who run them, organize, get the food, carry out the task, make mm -hmm. sure everything's okay. And I just say, you know, hoorah to them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. right. Seeing that horse. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, how much better. Yes. No, I know. Yes, I know. yes, yes, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And I just felt like, oh my gosh, you know, I couldn't believe that that company Thrive could not, you know, make a donation to the BNC Equine to get her so that she doesn't. I mean, they're they're using their own personal mm -hmm. money right. to bring these horses back to life. I mean, so you know, that's something that really you know irritated me, and I really would love to do something to try and get mm -hmm. them to see the light. But of course, TLC was also featured. Yes, yes, yes. 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 And, and let's say the name of that completely. Sure, Ted Loving Care Pet Nursing Hotel. Right. And uh, enrichment and what we're doing for dogs that are anxious and you know just have a hard time being with other people sometimes mm -hmm. and other dogs mm -hmm. and how important that is and of course we're run by women too. A little plug but I think you know the other show that I thought was um, really amazing was the Underground Railroad right yeah and mm -hmm. you know the fact that we covered that and in this day and age where talking about African American history in some states mm -hmm. is being being stripped out of the right. um, educational uh, systems is incredibly crazy. So um, if we can kind of help, you know, push out that information so that people understand what slavery was about and how people wanted to get away from that, I, I think that's, you know, what we should be doing. So mm -hmm. I thought that was uh, amazing. Well, it's just so hard to talk about all of these shows because they are all incredibly impactful. Uh, but how about some of our guests? All of our Inspire guests have been provided great wisdom and have provided great inspiration to all of us. Uh, Betty Lou, how about you? What guest had the most influence on you? Okay, well, I have to say Margaret. <laughs> 
love Margaret, just because, you know, that positive attitude, and you have to maintain a positive attitude when you mm -hmm. see so many animals coming in time after time with various needs, and some of them sit there for, you know, up to a year. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. pass by their kennels, mm -hmm. they don't uh, help them, uh, you know, they don't adopt, uh, but Margaret goes on and makes sure that their behavior is right, and, and mm -hmm. you know, we have the two veterinarians there that make sure they're mm -hmm. um, healthy. healthy, exactly. Uh, that, and, and Marge, like we were talking, somebody who has taken her personal time, you know, to make sure that somebody else is taken care of, mm -hmm. you know, which is so impactful. And then, uh, you know, even the fun stuff, you know, Marcy Penner and Wendy, yep, you know, of with course. everything about right. Kansas. And okay. those ladies have traveled the entire state they have found the yeah. most fun things, the you know, the little minuscule things that we just drive past all the time. And you know, who better, two spokespeople to talk about the state of Kansas. And I mean, to me that was exciting and fun. Uh -huh. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I so I'm gonna echo Marcy. Oh good, 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 good. Well. I mean, <laughs> they make me want to go on a road trip. Yes. And we're kind of talking about that for next season. I might right. yeah. do some yeah. glamping. Yeah, I wanna be up in the tree. <laughs> Remember that you I can would camp up in the I would tree. totally do that. Yes. Okay, I'm beyond the ground, but I, you know, <laughs> I could actually see, you know, doing the yeah. episode of glamping. So yeah, that yeah. could actually be cool. Also, Dr. Sharon Sullivan. Yes. She has educated me so much because you hear so many terms when it comes to gender. Right. And mm -hmm. you, I mean, every day is something new. And most people are like, okay, I'm throwing I can't off. Keep up. Exactly. I can't, I can't keep, up. keep up. And then mm -hmm. sometimes you're so overwhelmed. It's like, okay, I just give up. Mm -hmm. But everyone's an it. Just right. it. Exactly. Just, but just, yeah, she, she breaks it uh -huh. down to she where does. you're like, okay. I get this now, okay, right. I get, at least for the moment, right. I get what it is that w mm -hmm. we're trying to say. So the way that she broke it down on the show and was just able to help everybody be that much more understanding, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it was just beautiful. And so, educated. And mm -hmm. educated. And that's so what we we're can, trying to do. Yes, right, because you know? we're, we're trying to have people have conversation. Right, exactly. And, and to get everybody on the same page, which is what it's all about right. anyhow, so I just appreciate her so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, of course, I love yeah. Dr. Sharon. She's wonderful. Right. I also really like Colby Sharple Terry. Mm. Yes. Yeah, she's yeah. really fun. She's like super stylish. She she's is. got the yes. tattoos. Yes. I love them. She's love really them. cool. And she's with Kansas Tourism. Right. And she talked all about different places, you know, talked about the staycation and agritourism. She was on both of those shows and um, speaking about the things that we can do in Kansas. And right. it's just, it was really interesting. But I also have to kind of give a little shout out. And I hope I say her name right. Rachel. McNamee because she was at the zoo because mm. she takes care of the elephants <laughs> and I love elephants and I was just so enamored watching her care for the elephants so shout out to Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> How about you Lisa? Uh, um, lots. Um, I think um, you know I think Tara Wallace was great yes. mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. to us about infant mortality, mm -hmm. which I think is, you know, so horrendous. Um, so I, you know, I really appreciated her knowledge and skill on that. And then the tome of information that she sent us <laughs> afterwards, yes. which right. was amazing. And then I really loved um, Chris Craven, who was the meteorologist. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. I, I yes. loved the women in science episode. I right. mean, I thought that, you know, that really was so inspiring because we don't, you know, women are not always in math and science, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. you know, and so here we had a, a, you know, a professor who was doing something with um, physics, right. and then we had the meteorologist, and she was killing me because she was saying, I'm afraid of thunder, so no, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing storm chasing, don't, you know, don't count on me to do that. She's got a little oh, thunder oh, jacket exactly. she wears. And then who, the gentleman who came on for the food and security, Project, Project uh, Dan right. McFerrin. Right, right Dan. Yeah. I mean, I thought he was fantastic mm -hmm. and yeah. giving a lot of really great information and really hoping that this, uh, you know, grocery oasis comes to the fore. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's, let's make that happen. And our breast cancer survivor, Lanessa. Oh. Yeah. Tear, yeah. That just made you cry. Yeah. I was just, yeah. You, yeah. Boy, all the things that she went through, you know, to be able to survive, um, you know, when she just moved here, she mm -hmm. didn't know anybody. Her family came and came around her and helped her. And she's just thriving now and doing such a great yeah. job. And whenever I see her in another one of her fabulous outfits, I and just she think, is yeah. fabulous. She's yeah. fabulous, honey. Right. She's fabulous. <laughs> 
Wow, what a powerhouse group of guests we featured on Inspire for season three. Let's move on to some lighthearted moments, <laughs> ladies. And all of us know we've had a few of those in a particular day spent with wine and a pumpkin patch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was fun. That was fun. That was a hoot. And you guys, everybody got involved. I'm sorry, I wish you were yeah. oh, <laughs> involved. But we fed goats. I we, fed goats. We yeah. went, we crawled through hay bales. We went yes. through that haunted house kind of thing, you know. That oh, that twisty yeah, thing. Yeah. 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 You know, <laughs> yes, yeah, go to go, you're, yeah. But the but food the, they gave us. Too. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. my God. The, like fresh out of, the donuts, right out of there. The donuts oh, right out were delish. And then what was that cider? The apple cider? Oh yeah. Delish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally fresh. fabulous. Totally fresh, fresh. Mm -hmm. and fabulous. So we had donuts, we had drink. What else did we have? Can't remember. Did we have funnel cake? Oh, we yes. Did. We had yes. funnel cake. We had funnel cakes, my absolute favorite. And you know <laughs> what I did was I said, no, 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 it's not ready yet. Keep it in there because I like it crunchy. <laughs> I like it crunchy. And then you put on the special this, order yeah. funnel yes. cake. Yeah. This goes way back to my Italian girlfriend, Susan, uh -huh. whose <laughs> grandmother would make us these funnel cakes and she would do them well done. Mm -hmm. And that's the way to do it. You yeah. know, I'm not into that doughy stuff. Like, make it well done, put on the powdered sugar, yum. Extra that grease. Was extra grease. It was, <laughs> it, was it was good. It was good. And I got to get on that horsey thing. Right. I haven't been on that since I was probably 25, you know, on one of those things. And I remember, that is so painful after a while. <laughs> <laughs> know how Kevin Costner does it. My <laughs> and walking through the corn maze, that was, oh, that was that really was cool. Good. Now, that was really yeah. fun. You gotta yeah. maybe go earlier in the season next year because then the corn is higher. Because I've been lost in that thing before and they had to send the corn police. <laughs> The cool call. thing about places like Gary's Bears, they're all over the state. Right. Yeah. You know, we yes. went to one that was local here, but they're mm -hmm. all over the state. Mm -hmm. They have uh, those kinds. That's what agritourism is when they, you're ed being educated right. about various agricultural aspects. And this was a, a staycation kind of a thing. You could right. go and play right. lo right. locally. It was wonderful. Right. It was right. but now, where we state. didn't get to go, but was part of agritourism, was Amy's Meats. Amy's which Meats. Which we are going to. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to celebrate your birthday. birthday. Yeah, yeah. May 5th, in case anybody wants to know. Yes, that's right. Good food for Amy's Meats. Amy's Meats. We're going to do, the, we're gonna do mm -hmm. the pizza. Yes. Right. And uh, if it's cold, we have blankets. Yes. Right. And we're going to have a blast. So I loved uh, the fact, I kept thinking to myself, doesn't she have a husband? She does this, she does that. She does, she does it all. She doesn't need a man. Yeah. She does she have a husband. She can handle herself. Yeah. yeah. She can handle herself. I'm, yeah. not, I'm just but saying. I mean, <laughs> think about it. Everything <laughs> on that pizza is something. That she's, that she's touched, touched. Right. Yes. like the cattle, right? You know, mm -hmm. the hog, right? The Canadian know, the bacon, bacon, which is going to be I on mine. Hello, mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, and she's even doing the mozzarella. The she's pulling the and cheese. cheese and the wheat, and the wheat for the so for the cool. dough for the yes. bread. Yeah, she's right. Yeah. All the way down, so everything, nice. everything. I'm just, yes. I'm mm -hmm. really excited. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yes. And there are so many great farmers and ranchers around. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they're the ones that feed us. Back to the food thing, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Right. So we have got to right. support our mm -hmm. local people, the table. everything mm -hmm. you do, and mm -hmm. that is so important. Yes. And I love that the idea of the theme because when you when you realize just how important that is, your mm -hmm. your nutrition, and back to the gentleman with Project Pecan was talking mm -hmm. about, you know, kids going to school trying to concentrate, right. uh, adults going yeah, to work, work. Mm -hmm. trying to concentrate. concentrate, trying mm -hmm. to get something done without that gnawing feeling. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. again, the Can't stigma, concentrate. the stigma of Okay, well, I got a lunch, and mm -hmm. you know now I'm I'm embarrassed because somebody knows that my family's not well off. Exactly, we can't be having can't, those no. type of things, and I think mm -hmm. we are making progress. Mm -hmm. But it's it's programs like this, and thank you guys for watching because mm -hmm. you know we hope that that things that you learn here, things that we learn on here, right. that we can then take and get it out in the community. And you've got to be part of the change Absolutely. and be right. part mm -hmm. of moving forward and positive. Mm -hmm. And didn't mm -hmm. you go mm -hmm. out also? With with the uh, food project and go out and help 
uh, fill, yeah. Yeah. fill the set, fill, fill the, the bags. bags. I mean, they do like a thousand yeah. of them. Yeah, you I know, mean, which I, is I crazy. And, and like two hours. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. just this massive volunteers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonderful. think that's something that we should do again next year. I think we should go as hosts and, and right. really mm -hmm. bring this uh, mm -hmm. out to the community. And and I loved that in those different segments we had, you know, Facebook and Twitter, so that people could actually go on and find these organizations mm -hmm. right. um, mm -hmm. while they were watching or after they watched, so that they could get involved. And I and I hope people are getting involved. I hope, to your point, uh, Betty Lou, that the things that we show and we talk about not only you know make you smarter, as uh, some people say, but also get you to get involved in in, in our community, which is so wonderful. So all right, because where would we be without the volunteers? Like all those people that are filling those sacks are volunteers, mm -hmm. exactly. and there's companies around town too that they 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 wish they hope and some require mm -hmm. their yeah. uh, their employees to get out in the community and be involved right part, everybody's part right. of this community right. well, and they even give paid time like um, you yeah. actually get paid hours mm -hmm. to go right. out and volunteer right. and that's wonderful that bosses know right. that hey yeah. our employees need to be out doing right. stuff as well right. so right. that's wonderful. and you do learn so much and the people the guests that we have you guys there there these are they're doctors scientists people who mm -hmm. you know get paid a lot of money mm -hmm. you know to do their full-time job but yet they come here and they're on this show to impart their knowledge right. and to right. you know get mm -hmm. us all off of our keisters right. and up doing something mm -hmm. i mean you know? think about you know the Helping Hands Humane Society. I mean, all of the volunteers that right. it takes to run that facility is so key in keeping the pets happy and making sure they get out and get some exercise, to get some sun, um, to socialize, fed, to socialize, well, give them baths. And the Civic Theater said the same thing at the right. night of the theater. There, yeah, that's exactly right. Five hundred volunteers. Yeah. That you, it's, that's we, our right. society sort of functions on volunteers. And that's yes. such a fun thing to do because you can learn lighting, you can learn yeah. set design. Right. You know, acting as well, but maybe right. you maybe you're not a gifted actor, you know, mm -hmm. but you want to do something. You, right. you feel the like scene. you're yeah. part of it, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. are a part of it. Yeah. It's a whole family. Yeah, because mm -hmm. one can't happen without together. the other. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, you could tell we've had some <laughs> great times <laughs> and some great memories. And it's been a pleasure to share such fabulous things with this group of ladies. I'm telling you, yeah. the yeah. sisterhood <laughs> from day one to right now <laughs> yes. has yes. just grown so much and I can't believe how fast the time has flown and we're already on our last topic the favorite show category and we each have about a minute and a half to talk about our favorite show mine's not even going to take that long because obviously <laughs> we're going to Amy's meets which we talked about <laughs> in agritourism that was the second half of that show and so I'm excited that not only are we going there, but we hope that other people will have an opportunity to check it out too, because is it on the first and third or second and fourth Friday that you could actually go out there, just put $5 down, and she's going to prepare an awesome pizza meal for you on a Friday. So that, that's well, my favorite episode. Yeah, but it's gonna be out in the country. Yes. I mean, we all need to be out in nature. We have learned from our guests right. how important it is not only to communicate with your friends and family to keep those loved ones close, for your mental mm -hmm. uh, capacity, mm -hmm. but to be out in nature, yes. which is what where she is and what we're going to get to see and partake of. And you know, everything on that pizza, everything is nice and fresh. Yep. Yeah. Right. So right. Be, yeah. Right. Okay. So mine's a little more serious. Uh, is the Underground Railroad that was yeah. really yeah. fascinating to me? And KTW, you did an out outreach program and learning about it because you know you heard about that as a kid. Sure. Underground Railroad. I really thought there was an Underground, underground Railroad. railroad. <laughs> You know, and it's not, but I loved then learning about how they called them the station masters and the conductors and all that kind of stuff. You know, real real train terminology, uh, terminology mm -hmm. but these were people who guided and then to learn about Harriet Tubman and Fre and Frederick Douglass and then we had mm -hmm. specials that we we ran here on KTWU but also movie about you know yeah. Harriet Tubman mm -hmm. and and I just think that's so important for everybody to realize how that these were individuals and how much they did how much they sacrificed how much their family sacrificed mm -hmm. this is history that needs to be told passed down appreciated I love the Underground Railroad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. 
Yeah, I, I think one of the ones that we haven't mentioned is uh, the impact of breast cancer. Um, and I think that was a really good show. I mean, mm -hmm. I think, you know, we learned so much about what we didn't know that um, could really impact the lives like of the hair people. Like the hair I mean, hair hair relaxing. Relaxing. I was, yeah. yeah. Who knew? That was powerful. Who knew? Wow. I mean, and who knew crazy. you had long, wild, crazy oh, hair? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> You relaxed it all the time. <laughs> my, my, my mother's thing was, uh, this. you know, I was born with no hair, and my mother thought I would never have hair. So, so yeah, so when I cut it all off, she was not happy. But, Danielle, what was your favorite show? Uh, the whole agritourism. Yeah. Just yeah. so many places in Kansas talking about wineries and mm -hmm. distilleries mm -hmm. and, and places in terms of food places. Kansas has some of the best food products. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh my God. I mean, and we could look here in Topeka and, right, and right, talk about right, cheese and meats right. and vegetables. It's right. wonderful. Beef, beef. So, I mean, I mean, we could eat for days. Right, right. Amy. It's a food thing. Okay, yeah. so I, I, I've looked at all these and I'm impressed by many and loved many of them and would probably watch several of them again. But I have to, I have to go to where my heart is, and that's women in music. Yes. Oh, you know, yes. That is, yes. I, music was part of my life. Yeah. Maria the Mexican. Yes. And Erin yes. Ranger yes. from yes. the ch yes. Chellis and, and their outreach to kids. And Maria was so fun to talk to. She really yes. was. She, she was just so interesting and, and you know, elegant. And yes. Just really and and her heritage. Her. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and yeah. heritage with the mariachi. Yes. Yes. And adding a little funk and pop to it yeah. and rock to them. Her Who mariachi knew you could rich. do that? Yeah. Yeah. And she's on her, on her third, third CD. Third album, yeah. She's yeah. Really star like, struck. I'm yeah. like, I want to I just love the fact that, that music, and it's we talked about, that music isn't something that you have to do on an international stage. Right. It can be done all the time, anywhere, very locally, and that's true. Music has that kind of outreach right. yeah, um, I to think, all of us. You know, I have to say that I think um, season three was really our best so far. Yes. It was inspirational. Mm -hmm. It was um, educational. educational yes. And it was... Um, really women focused still yes. you know i mean mm -hmm. so some of these things you could say oh but you know we're about women for women um but all of these topics really were and i think that the way that we weave them all into um what we do every week on inspire was just incredible mm -hmm. there was yeah. a lot of meat there was a topics. lot of meat to these topics and, and another so shout out to our producer yeah. Yeah. that's right they were awesome. that's right yeah, yeah. that's and right. our staff yes. Yes. Yeah. does everything yes yeah. You know, Absolutely. Awesome. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So that's a wrap. <laughs> we thank you so much <laughs> for traveling down memory lane with us on our journey through season three. We'll be back soon enough, though, with more in-depth discussion on issues impacting women, our community, our state, and our nation. Inspiring women, inspiring passion, kindness, wisdom, and support, and inspiring you right here on KTWU. Thank you all for watching, and we'll be back for more Inspire. Inspire is sponsored by Kansas Furniture Mart, using furniture to inspire conversation, and by the Blanche Bryden Foundation. The Friends of KTWU, honored to support programs and services that enrich the lives of our viewers. And the Raymond C. and Marguerite Gibson Foundation.